in the first image, we have two creatures, two beings. This is time is 31 seconds, 13, uh, and you have two creatures like communicating to each other. Uh, one of them seems to be three-dimensional. Can we prove that? No. In the next image, this image was presented at the Rense site, uh, saying that this was a hoax. Uh, frame is 2036 time, one minute and seven seconds, and we see this creature behind the, the, the plants and the tree, the leaves of the tree, and moving some kind of object. We concentrated in this besides the, 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 the shape of the, of the creature. If this is a host, then this creature, this dummy, has to be expensive because it's flexible and very credible, very, very good model. Or if it's real, of course. Then as we an analyze that, we were able to, to get the shape of the object and uh, here we we can see very clearly oh jeez oh. it doesn't stop no okay Excuse me. Let's see if I say that. Okay. Here you can see very clear the object that is hanging or moving with the right hand. You cannot see that in the original image. I believe this is somehow a proof that this is real. Otherwise, if you are going to host this, you will make it very evident, whatever. It, this is being done, but here we have some kind of instrument that is being handled by this creature. Here you have this image seven seconds later. It's like the, if the camera was surprised by the presence of this creature, like he moved the camera away from the place he was recording because this creature was getting closer the center of the shot is right here. This is the center, and the creature is here looking for him. Here it's clearer. In the next shot, you can see... Oh. You can see that the creature... Is coming closer, looking for the man who is using the infrared. Okay? And the, the man is now on his knees trying to hide from this creature. <laughs> you see? I think these creatures can't see in infrared. That's why. Now you see that the creature is going away. The last one was... Uh, uh, a minute and 40 seconds, that's 20 sec 26 seconds after the other. This is 34 seconds. He's still trying to hide, looking through the holes of the fence. And this creature is like going away. And finally we see the last picture, two minutes and 27 seconds from the beginning, and you see the craft coming from the, for them, and they are going away. For me, it looks very coherent. It looks like these six pictures relate a story. It's very easy to discredit them, very easy, but I think they are real. Next case. There were 50 people in a party in a farm outside Monterrey, Mexico, when 
uh, an animal went inside the farm. They didn't have a lamp, then they used the camera, the flash of the camera, to try to find the animal. They weren't taking pictures. That you can see that clearly because you can see part of a car here. It's, it's more like they are trying to, to see through the light of the flash. But when you take this picture and you can and you can really with a Photoshop try to light it up, you can see it's something strange. It's a way but look into them. In the next, it's the same kind of thing, but now you see this creature, or whatever it is, going away, running. And in the third one, this man is trying to get the attention of the man with the flash, saying, look the animals inside. They are afraid. Put the light there. He is uh, Fernando Cárdenas, and the man with the camera is Ivan Geraldo Cisneros. And they got this picture, but then next day, they saw something in the back. You see, we have analyzed this. Could this be a dummy? Yes. Could this be a hoax? In the camera, in the image, no. It's not a hoax in the image. Exactly like the last case. It's not a hoax in the image. Can they be dummies? Yeah. It's very difficult to, to, to go against that. I mean, when, when you have so many cases, we have two so far. What's the size? Uh, we believe is. Uh, a yard or 80 centimeters, something like that. My friend Dan Iria helped me, who he's around, I don't know if he's here, but he made an analysis on these pictures, and his, his conclusion was that this was real. He couldn't say, again, if this is a dummy or something like that, but was not hoaxed hosted in the this image. Is here, I think this was presented by Art Bell. Again, uh, according to the story that I heard, is that a man was trying to check his camera in a cemetery to see how good the camera was. That's what I heard. And he took this photograph where after he checked the photograph and he was able to see this. Again, what would be the reason just to hoax this? The, the, whole, uh, the pixels in the, in the creature are the same from the rest of the image, which means that this was not hoaxed, but it could be also a dummy, but now we have what? Three cases? And then on July 2003, in Juarez, Mexico, a little girl took this photograph, a 14 year old girl, inside her house. And there are three pictures. I just got one. When I went to make the investigation, uh, we found the girl in the hospital. She was very sick. I, I offered my help to the family, but they didn't want to, and they asked me not to get the girl involved in the investigation. But I found many witnesses like these two young boys who had seen these creatures in the past around Juarez. They, I investigate, John Mack investigated this case, and he said that the case was real. And these people are telling us that what they saw is exactly this. 
outside Juarez on August 25, 1995. And that's exactly what they saw. 